It shouldn't matter as much where you live in the country as it does now. It matters more where you live in the UK than it would do in many comparable countries. And levelling up is the idea that we can sort of somehow address this problem. It's not bringing London down, it's about bringing everywhere else up. In the UK, we have a sort of core periphery between London and the South, the greater South East, and then other parts of the country tend to be lagging. This isn't, doesn't mean that everywhere is poor outside of London, the South East, but on the whole, there's a North-South divide, and levelling up is really an attempt to address that. We know, compared to a country like Germany, there are larger differences between the North and South. People's incomes differ more according to where they live in the UK than other countries, and there is a larger divergence in life expectancy than you would hope or you would expect. The government's tried to do a few things. One thing they've tried to do is devolve more power to cities and particularly city mayors. And the idea is that these people will serve both to coordinate policy at a local level, but also as they have a role in sort of national political economy. And the key thing here is that the, you know, the UK has a very centralised system of government. The problem with our centralised system of government is that you have people who sit in offices just down the road from here in, in London who are making spending decisions which impact on places such as the North East or the North West, which are quite a long way away. And this is seen as a problem because these people don't necessarily have the local knowledge or the sort of knowledge of what else is happening in a local area which will help make those investments a success. The North-South divide, the problems of regional inequality in the UK, these have some really actually quite important consequences for people's lives. So if you take someone who's born in a high unemployment area in the 1970s, somewhere around Liverpool for example, and compare them to someone who's born in a lower unemployment area, somewhere in the round London, then one thing you'll see is that the person born in the high unemployment area will earn £2,500 less per year now than someone in the low unemployment area, even accounting for their education, their ethnicity, their gender, what their parents do and even where they end up living. We know that levelling up is really important, it's going to take a long time, but the problem is that political cycles are short, uh, particularly in the UK at the moment, so it's far from clear whether this agenda is going to succeed.